The lowest natural temperature ever directly recorded at ground level on Earth is minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 184.0 K, at the Soviet Vostok Station in Antarctica on the 21st of July 1983 by ground measurements. On the 10th of August 2010. Satellite observations showed a surface temperature of minus 93.2 degrees Celsius, minus 135.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 180.0 K at 81.8 degrees south, 59.3 degrees east, minus 81.8, 59.3 along a ridge between Dome Argus and Dome Fuji at 3,900 metres 12, feet elevation. The result was reported at the 46th Annual Meeting of the American Geophysical Union in San Francisco in December 2013. It is a provisional figure, and may be subject to revision. The value is not listed as the record lowest temperature as it was measured by remote sensing from satellite and not by ground-based thermometers, unlike the 1983 record. The temperature announced reflects that of the ice surface, while the Vostok readings measured the air above the ice, and so the two are not directly comparable. More recent work shows many locations in the high Antarctic where surface temperatures drop to approximately minus 98 degrees Celsius, minus 144 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 K. Due to the very strong temperature gradient near the surface, these imply near-surface air temperature minima of approximately minus 94 degrees Celsius, minus 137 degrees Fahrenheit, 179 K. Topic: Historical progression. On 21 January 1838 a recording was made by the Russian merchant Neverov in Yakutsk, of minus 60 degrees Celsius minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit, 213 K. On 15 January 1885 H. Wilde reported that a temperature of minus 68 degrees Celsius minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 205 K was noted in Verkoyansk. A later measurement at the same place in February 1892 was reported as minus 69.8 degrees Celsius, minus 93.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 203.3 K. Soviet researchers later announced a recording of minus 67 .7 degrees Celsius, minus 89.9 degrees Fahrenheit, 205.5 K in February 1933 at Oymyakon, about 650 kilometers (400 miles) to the southeast of Verkhoyansk. This measurement was reported by Soviet texts through the 1940s as a record low, with the previous measurement from Verkhoyansk retroactively adjusted to minus 67.6 degrees Celsius minus 89.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 205.6 K. The next reliable measurement was made during the 1957 season at the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica 
there, yielding minus 73.6 degrees Celsius, minus 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit, 199.6 K on the 11th of May, and minus 74.5 degrees Celsius, minus 102.1 degrees Fahrenheit, 198.7 K on the 17th of September. A subsequent measurement of minus 88.3 degrees Celsius, minus 126.9 degrees Fahrenheit, 184.8 K, on the 24th of August 1960, held the record until a temperature of minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 184.0 K was measured at the Soviet Vostok station on the Antarctic plateau on the 21st of July 1983. This remains the record for a directly recorded temperature. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Laboratory cooling. topic early experiments In 1904 Dutch scientist Heike Kameling Onnes created a special lab in Leiden with the aim of producing liquid helium In 1908 he managed to lower the temperature to less than -269 degrees Celsius minus 452.2 F 4K which is less than 4 degrees above absolute zero Only in this exceptionally cold state will helium liquefy the boiling point of helium being at -268.94 degrees Celsius -452.092 F 452092 Kameling Onnes received a Nobel Prize for his achievement. Onnes' method relied upon depressurizing the subject gases, causing them to cool by adiabatic cooling. This follows from the first law of thermodynamics. Delta U equals delta Q minus delta w display style delta u equals delta q delta w where u topic internal energy q heat added to the system w equals work done by the system consider a gas in a box of set volume if the pressure in the box is higher than atmospheric pressure, then upon opening the box our gas will do work on the surrounding atmosphere to expand. As this expansion is adiabatic and the gas has done work delta Q equals zero display style delta Q equals zero delta W greater than zero display style delta W greater than zero delta U zero display style right arrow delta U now as the internal energy has decreased, so has the temperature. Topic: Modern experiments. As of November 2000, nuclear spin temperatures below 100 pK were reported for an experiment at the Helsinki University of Technology Low Temperature Lab. However, this was the temperature of one particular type of motion a quantum property called nuclear spin not the overall average thermodynamic temperature for all possible degrees of freedom at such low temperatures the concept of temperature 
becomes multifaceted since molecular motion cannot be assumed to average out across degrees of freedom. The corresponding peak emission will be in radio waves, rather than in the familiar infrared, so it is very inefficiently absorbed by neighboring atoms, making it difficult to reach thermal equilibrium. Low temperature laboratory recorded a record low temperature of 100 pK or 1.0 10 10K in 1999. The current apparatus for achieving low temperatures has two stages. The first utilizes a helium dilution refrigerator to get to temperatures of millikelvins, then the next stage uses adiabatic nuclear demagnetization to reach picokelvins. Extremely low temperatures are useful for observation of quantum mechanical phases of matter such as superfluids and Bose Einstein condensates, which would be disrupted by thermal motion. Topic. See also Absolute zero Dilution refrigerator Highest temperature recorded on Earth List of weather records Magnetic refrigeration Orders of magnitude temperature Timeline of low temperature technology